Okay, now we've got our prizes appearing and disappearing. I'm going to add in some enemies. Um, you'll notice that my screen looks a little different. That's because I'm now recording on my laptop rather than a, a school PC. I've also found out over here, if you click this option, your stage goes small and you've got more room to write your script. You can then click that to preview and to test things out, which is quite useful. Um, so I'm going to add in an enemy. I'm basically going to add in a ghost that floats up and down here automatically. So I need to add a new sprite. Um, let's try fantasy. May well be in there. Could be a, I could use a dragon if I wanted. Let's see if there's a ghost. There we go. I'm going to have him like that. And again, make your ghost smaller. Keep clicking. There we are. Um, in fact, I'm going to make you really quite small. And what I'm going to do, deselect that tool. I'm going to go over here. He's still too big, so I'm going to have to make him even smaller. There we are. Now, he's just about going to fit in there. I'm going to make him glide along the bottom here. So, with, with my ghost selected, I'm going to call him Enemy1. I'm going to add this script in. First of all, to make him appear. When the green flag is clicked, put my forever loop in. Hide. And I want him to start here, which is minus 195, minus 149. So I need to go to Actually, it's automatically set to where he starts. There we go. Minus 197, minus 147. And then I want my looks again, and I want him to show. There we are. So, when I click the green flag, he will appear and start there, regardless of where he's been on the screen before that. Now, what I want to do is find my glide command. Again, in motion. Glide to. Like that. And... I want to change the glide time. Now he's, we move across here, so it's going to take him quite a while. I want him to glide for about five seconds. Two. And I want to change this X value because he's moving left to right. I want to keep the Y value the same so he doesn't move up or down. So I want him to glide to, let's say, over here, which is 197. 199. So. 199 on the X, and I'll change that because he's moving across. I'll keep the Y value exactly the same because he's not moving up or down at all. There we go. So that will take him five seconds to glide from there to there. So let's just start and watch what happens. There he goes. I'm not moving anything else. He's just gliding around to there. And he keeps doing it. Now, I'm then going to add in another glide command to make him glide back to where he was. So, glide 5 seconds to... There we go. And that's his original command. So now he should move backwards and forwards. Let's try it. Obviously, the shorter time you make this, the quicker he moves. Um, he's gliding backwards and forwards. I'd quite like there him to face the other way between those two. So, point in direction, left. So he should now change direction, he's upside down, so what I need to do is do that, click that button so he only faces left or right, and I need to duplicate that. so that when he goes back, he's pointing in the right direction again. That should work. Cross your fingers. Off he goes. Wait till he gets to the edge. Bop. There you are, and he's turning the right way. Now, the reason I put this in is so that when he gets to the back, he starts again. There we are. <laughs> so, now what we can do is we can make him change speed at random. So, instead of glide five seconds... 
what I can do is in operators I can glide pick random 1 to 10 and put that in as well there we go so now he's gonna glide if it's one second he's gonna be really quick across there if it's 10 seconds he's gonna be really slow so let's try it it's quite quick a bit slower and so on and so on and he'll just carry on using random commands now if you wanted to make him you won't move up and down instead of changing the X value here you change the Y value so you might want to put one here moving up and down like so um, and you could really add extra glides in to make him move all around the maze in a in a pattern but at random speed so you could instead of having him glide backwards and forwards from here you can make him go up to the top across the top maybe down here and so on um, you could add in a few other enemies and have them moving around at random so have a go at adding your enemy.